Oh, you can't do it yet. One thing to keep in mind is you can only visit towns once. So make sure you don't miss anything. Oh, so this is it. This is that Masamune statue Inari was going on and on about. He looks so cool. I bet he'd be cutting down shadows left and right if he were in a jail with us. Such remarkable craftsmanship. It's truly the one-eyed dragon in all his glory. Indeed. I should have expected as much from such an icon. We must come back during the day. Hmm? The hell? What's all this about? Prince of Nightmares, Volume 1. 20th reissue celebration? Reissue celebration? So they're promoting a book? I doubt they got permission to do this. Maybe it's some kind of prank. What a reprehensible miscreant. Putting up such tasteless flyers for their own gain. Let's take them down. <sighs> That's better. Well, you happy, Yusuke? Yes. Now that I've seen the great Masamune. My apologies for taking so much of everyone's time. Let's move on. All right, that's one item off the list. Next up, Beak Tongue City. <laughs> Let's see if these local flavors are enough to impress a sophisticated palate like mine. Oh, sorry. It might be hard to get in if we bring a cat along. What? Oh, oops. Holy shit! Is this for real? Mm, this meat is so thick, so soft. Damn, that's good. Ryuji, cut it out! You're spitting all over me! Uh, <laughs> I think he's face crying over here. I don't even want to know what his regular diet is like if this is enough to make him cry. Either way, food's delicious. Hey! We have some too. I swear, you are the noisiest cat on the planet. Ask him to split some with you. You heard the dude? Too bad. He's got to make do with the smell. Don't be such a pig. I'm hungry too, you know. Not so loud, you idiot. Is that a cat I hear? Oh, shit. things I could have sworn I heard a cat oh uh nope not a real cat at least uh, we were just practicing our cat sounds <laughs> right Ryuji uh meow oh come on you're not fooling anyone sounds to me like he's in the bag of the gentleman with the glasses Sweet. Are you going to share? You and your cat should partake in the finest beef tongue this restaurant has to offer. What? Jay, not so loud. Oops. Sorry, sorry. You're right. You get thrown out, then no more beef tongue. By the way, is this your first time having Sendai beef tongue? I should tell you, the oxtail soup's to die for. Did you know oxtail soup is packed with collagen? A lot of people seem to think it's good for your skin. They say it's not as effective when ingested, but there's a fair number of reports that suggest otherwise. Human cognition can be quite misleading. You may think you feel a change when none has occurred. This is the placebo effect and... No, dude. She's just going on and on. Does she even notice us talking right now? This overwhelming onslaught of pointless info. We got ourselves a nerd, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about, you know, the bag thing. What? Oh, you mean the cat? Don't worry. I won't tell the staff or anything. By the way, are you all students? If I had to guess, I'd say you're in high school, right? So, you'll be taking your college exam soon. Have you decided where you'll apply? 
Oh, forgive me. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Kuani Tinose. I work as a researcher over at Toho University. Hey, you guys should come check out the campus. It's way up in the mountains, and it's a lot of fun. Lots of bears this season, too. The bears? Oh, uh, you know, we kind of got something going on already, so we don't exactly got the time. See, I see. Yes, well, it's important that you do what you want while you're still young. Allow me to impart a little treat till next we meet. Sure. Well then, I've had my fill of beef tongue, so it's probably best if I get going. Farewell, young ones! So, uh, she was weirdly energetic, huh? Well, thankfully, we avoided getting in trouble. We should be grateful she didn't tell on us. Sorry, that was my fault. Ah, uh, I got carried away too. Sorry, Mona-chan. We'll buy you some sasa kamaboko later. You mean the fish cake on the skewers with that nice layer of char on top? Oh, I can't wait! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh, this plate is work was just perfect. I was on my game. Two nights in a row, if you can believe that. Speaking of which, I read in a magazine that you were going to be at the station today. There's no way I missed that. All right, let's finish eating. Quietly this time. Yes, ma'am. I'm stuffed. How you can eat five bowls of rice is beyond me. Your stomach a black hole or something? Look, if you're offering free refills, then you can bet I'm ordering them. Indeed. You can eat the first bowl and focus exclusively on the glistening of the meat. Then the aroma on the next, and so on. I'm pretty sure that's just you. Well, I will say the food here certainly is delicious. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Sophia! It was, as they say, a piece of cake. I guess we should leave where we eat up to Sophia now, huh? Hmm? What's going on over there? Natsume-san! Your lady says she was just a fake thing in the whole place! Natsume-san! Over here! Can you please sign my copy? <laughs> Thank you for all your support! Whoa, hold on now. Only one autograph per person, please. Oh, my apologies, but could the men please go to the back of the line? Ladies first, you see. What the hell's that? He looks pretty popular. I, I heard that woman say latest book. Does that mean he's a writer? Oh. Hello there. Are you looking for an autograph as well? Or perhaps a handshake? Huh? Um. Oh, how terribly rude of me to keep such lovely fans waiting. Please, accept this as a token of my apology, yes? Don't worry, I've already signed it. Um, okay. Listen, uh, we were just passing by. Ah, is that so? It seems I got a little ahead of myself. Prince of Nightmares by Ango Natsume. Yours truly, Ango Natsume. It's a pleasure. Prince of Nightmares. That's the name from those flyers on the Masamune statue. Why, flyers on Masamune statue? Ah, oh, I think I know what happened. That's most likely the work of some of my more zealous fans. I appreciate them promoting my work, but it appears they went overboard somewhat. Honestly, they can be a real handful sometimes. Allow me to apologize on their behalf. In exchange, allow me to offer you a kiss. Yo, back off, dude. Don't you see you're making her uncomfortable? And who are you supposed to be? I believe I was addressing these lovely young ladies here. I thank you not to interrupt. Hmm, sorry, but they're with us. If you got a problem, you can always talk to me. <laughs> 
Do you seriously think you can get away with speaking to me like that? <laughs> My, this one's got some backbone, doesn't he? Mr. Natsume, we need to get moving soon. <laughs> well then, it seems I must be going. I've a magazine interview to get to. To all those who have read my book, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Natsume! I love you! Oh, he's just so dreamy. I'll have to buy ten more copies tomorrow to show him just how much I care. Uh, who was that man? I don't know if he was some local big shot or whatever, but he sure was pissing me off. He was a strange one for sure, but the people around him seemed really happy. Why was that? Probably because they're a bunch of weirdos. I must agree. He wasn't at all deserving of such praise, even in the form of flattery. Are you all right, Haru? Mm-hmm. I was just a little surprised as all. How'd a jerk like him get so popular? Ugh, doesn't make any sense. Hmm. There might be something else going on here even be changing people's hearts. You mean, he's the monarch of the Sendai Jail? It's just one possibility. No, I, I think you might be onto something. If he's the monarch, then everything else totally makes sense. Huh, I got my laptop back at the RV. Should be able to dig something up from there. Hmm. Alright, let's go over what we know so far. Sophia, you can confirm there's a jail here, correct? The smell got a lot stronger once we entered the city. So yes, I'm sure of it. And the man we met earlier, his name was Ango Natsume? I just did a quick search on him. Here's what came up. Ango Natsume, grandson to renowned writer Sogo Natsume. Currently a successful light novel. Says the guy kicked off his career with his debut work, Prince of Nightmares, which won the grand prize in the Sokaisha Awards. This thing's selling stupidly well. It sold a million copies alone. A million? That's kind of nuts, right? Yeah, for someone's debut to hit numbers like that is nothing short of a miracle. I checked social media, and, well, this whole thing is kind of bizarre. Natsume's fans are probably going on some kind of rampage, right? There's a rumor that some people got beat within an inch of their lives just because they were sort of dressed like Natsume's characters. Right. The worst part is that no one stepped in to stop them. In fact, the attackers were praised for what they did. These are likely the same kinds of people who defile Masamune's statue with flyers. They clearly lack self-restraint. The fans at the station seemed really passionate, too. It was almost like they were part of a cult. I'm checking some of the online forums. It looks like there's about a hundred threads created about this dude almost every day. And they're all positive. Not only that, but all of these IP addresses are from Sendai. That's crazy suspicious. This is definitely our guy then, right? That's true. We haven't determined his abilities as a writer yet. If he really is just some freakishly talented writer, then the jail here has nothing to do with him. And he earned all that praise, right? But there's still a chance he's our monarch too, ain't there? That's what we're gonna find out. Tomorrow, we'll go into town and see what intel we can dig up. If he's the monarch, then there's a good chance we'll run into some victims who've had their hearts changed. Just like in Shibuya. Oh yeah, we should probably let Inspector Gramps know too, huh? Good idea. He might be able to give us some other clues too. Okay, well, I guess we should all probably hit the hay. We've got a busy day tomorrow.
So... Why the hell are we sleeping up top? Might as well be sleeping outside. Ain't it gonna be cramped? There's nothing we can do. There isn't enough room in the car. Besides, it's not as bad as you say. Back when there were more students at the atelier, it was quite normal for us to sleep huddled together due to lack of space. Man, you always keep cool in the weirdest possible way. You know that? Come on, guys. Are we really just gonna call it a night? Shouldn't we, like, all be playing cards till super late or stargazing or something? Ain't that the kind of shit we're supposed to do on a big trip like this? <sighs> sure, whatever. But, I mean, come on, dude. Something ain't right here. Forget it, Ryuji. We're up early tomorrow anyway, so you'd better get some rest. Man, it's gonna be hot as hell with three of us and Morgana, ain't it? Very true. That fur certainly won't help things either. Oh, what do you want from me? I can't help that I'm a cat. Not that I'm actually a cat, though. Sky, shut up. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong. Not like that. Like this. This. Okay, let's dig it. What did you say? Really? Okay. Hot spots. You picked the good stuff. Here you are. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. <laughs> What'll it be? Some cooking recipes can be sold in local shops. Don't miss the opportunity to buy them whenever you find them. If you miss out on any recipes, it's still possible to buy them from Sophia's online shop. However, be aware that obtaining them this way will be much more expensive. Is that all? Sure you are. What a coincidence. Try and buy all the ingredients every time.
29. Shell pineapple. Something is. Plus twenty. We recommend this one. Thank you. Stay safe out there. Welcome. Thanks a lot. Take your time. We recommend that. Thank you very much. So that's what you're getting? Can you hold up? We recommend that. Can you hold up? So that's what you're getting. Thank you, Vic. So that's what you're getting. Can you hold up? So that's what you're getting. Can you hold up? We recommend that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, welcome. Um. Have you decided? That one, did I do this one? It's good to see. Come again. I think I'm missing one more. I thought it was this guy over here. couldn't remember if it's everything or not. I think I'm missing one of the like groups of people right there. Smug bastard being promoted all over the place. Like I'm going insane. That's quite a crowd for a book signing. Oh, there's so many people. I think I'm gonna throw up. Is he gonna give out his key word for Emma and change everyone's hearts like Alice did? We should keep an eye on him for now. Um, Natsume-san? I just wanted to say 
Thank you for putting out such wonderful work all the time. I was so touched by your book. I ended up buying 50 copies. Yeah, well, I bought a hundred. Some to read, some to collect, some to give out, and some to... My goodness! Thank you. I'm flattered. Reading your book somehow gives me hope. Courage to keep going. I won't rest until each and every one of my friends knows about your book. Well, I have said that I want my book to reach as many people as possible. I can't help but feel guilty, though. Be sure you don't overdo it. No, it's okay. I'm helping you because I want to. I heard the reason he started writing novels was for this poor girl who's bedridden in the hospital. Supposedly, he wanted her to keep fighting so she could one day see him finish his novel. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. He's just so compassionate. It's like he's a saint. I know, that story alone's enough to make me cry. I guess even real life is like a novel sometimes. We have to tell the whole world about Ango Natsume's good deeds. expected as much but he's really popular do you think that bit about the girl in the hospital is for real dude didn't seem like the type if you ask me i don't think natsume said anything resembling a fear could it be because he really isn't a monarch or perhaps he's just being careful if he is the monarch maybe everyone here's already had their hearts changed meaning he wouldn't need to give out his keyword hey nari What's that you've been reading? Ango Natsume's novel, Prince of Nightmares. Nari? You actually bought that thing? Not at the moment, no. I simply wanted to check whether the content of the book was truly deserving of the fervent praise it's received. Well, how is it? Is it good? <sighs> how should I put it? For any creative work, one should be able to feel some sense of its creator's passion. No matter how crude or unrefined the work may be, there should always be some sort of spark present to those engaging in it. I'm not terribly well versed in the literary arts, but I feel nothing when reading this book. The sentences are formed well enough, but what's here is shockingly hollow. It's as if these words have been taken from someone else and given the most bare minimum coat of paint possible. Let me see. Oh, wow. This line here is lifted from an anime from two years ago. The words got changed a bit, but that's definitely it. Sneaky. I think I've seen this one before, too. And this one. Sheesh. This one, too. Wait. Is this whole book just a bunch of stuff he ripped off and strung together? If the original writers, or worse, their fans, ever saw this, there'd be a freaking riot online. I can't possibly fathom how such a fraudulent piece of work garnered this much praise. That is, unless the fans had their desires stolen. With all that we know now, it's safe to say there's definitely something going on here. If only we knew the keyword, we can investigate the jail for ourselves. Think we should ask some of his fans? They've all had their desires taken, right? <sighs> if this is anything like the situation in Shibuya, I doubt they'll tell us anything. Guess we're kind of stuck then. Have we heard anything from Gramps yet? He said he'd be here by tonight. Maybe he learned something. All right then. I guess we should go ahead and wait for Inspector Hasegawa then. Hold on. Why do you think Natsume wrote this novel? Somehow I don't believe that's the case. No matter how much praise your work receives, if it was built on the backs of others, then you cannot truly call that praise your own. Those compliments will surely ring empty. Anyone in the arts should know this. That is why I don't understand. What was he thinking when he wrote this novel? What are you two doing? Let's get going. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to hold you up. Let's be off.
Pretty nice ride you've got here. And I gotta say, I didn't expect Sendai to be on the agenda. How'd you know there was a jail here? Well, about that... I smelled it. Hmm... You smelled it? Anyways... Have you learned anything new? Ah, yes. Ango Natsume, right? Yeah, he's suspicious, all right. His book's been selling like crazy, but only here in Sendai. Most of the other stuff I've heard lines up with what you guys told me. Anyhow, I did some asking around, and here's what I found. Apparently, everyone in Atsume's little fan club becomes friends with him through Emma. And once that happens, they start buying his book any and every chance they get. Some even go into debt because of it. Any of this sound familiar? It's just like what happened with Alice. He might have different methods from Alice Hiragi, but I'm almost certain Natsume is using the same power. Well, in that case, we really need to get our hands on his keyword. Can't we just nab the shithead and make him cough it up? Ugh, do that? And I would have to arrest you for assault. You can ramble on about the jails all you want. Best case scenario is you getting dragged off to a mental institution. Yeah. Well, we're phantom thieves, so going at it directly is not preferred anyway. Ah, uh, there goes Beauty Thief. Always trying to be elegant and subtle and stuff. Beauty what? <laughs> My name is Beauty Thief. I see. She's really calling herself that? Getting back on track. We gotta think of a way to get that keyword. That's where I come in. You better thank me for this later. For what? Natsume's holding a party tonight in celebration of Prince of Nightmares, passing over a million in sales. And I just happen to have enough invitations for all of you. Which means... You're crashing a party? Hey, that sounds fun as hell! Don't you think? Right. And if it's invite only, there's a chance security will be a light as well. So, what do you think? Glad we struck a deal? You did pretty good, Gramps. Yeah, nice one, Gramps. I must admit, I'm seeing you in a whole new light, Gramps. Yeah, you really came through, Gramps. I knew we could count on you, Gramps, son. Come on, guys. At least call me by my name. Don't feel bad, Gramps. Thank you all very much for coming today. This is just a small token of my appreciation. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoy yourselves. And congratulations, Mr. Natsume. Truly. It's all thanks to everyone working so hard to push sales. All I did was right. <laughs> oh, you're too modest. It really is impressive how well you've done, considering the amount of competition there is. I know, we tried to promote you early on as the grandson of renowned writer Sogo Natsume, but, uh, I, I never would have expected you to perform this well. <laughs> the praise you've received is due entirely to your talent, Mr. Natsume. You're a shining star to readers and authors alike. My talent, you say? <laughs> well, now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. The words on the page matter little. If there's something worth talking about, the people will always flock to it. From there, all one needs to do is craft a little story of it. And voila! For example, take that origin story about how I started writing because of some poor girl in the hospital. Pardon my asking, but is that story really true, Mr. Natsume? <laughs> I'm afraid that's my little secret. Truth? Fiction? Does anyone really care? You might recall Ichiryu Saimadarame's confession on TV not too long ago. Surely you remember. His signature piece. What was the name of it? Oh, you mean the Sayuri. Ah, yes. That's it. The Sayuri. That piece was certainly lauded as the pinnacle of beauty at the time. But if you ask me, the only place it belongs now is the trash. <sighs> Dick! The trash? How rude! He has no idea what was put into that painting. Who does he think he is? 
Yusuke, I know how you feel, but... I'm all right. I have a favor to ask. Would you mind if I handled this one? I promise I'll get the key word from him. But... There's a good chance he remembers your faces from the other day. However, I was toward the back of the crowd. There's a good chance he won't recognize me. Right. Yusuke might be our best bet here. Good luck! Thank you. I'll be off then. Pardon me for interrupting. I happen to be a big fan of yours, Natsume-san. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, who are you? Forgive me. I was hoping I might trouble you for an autograph. Hey! Mr. Natsume is a busy man. You can trouble him later. <laughs> Come now. I'm sure one autograph won't hurt. <laughs> you mean it. My thanks, Natsume-san. You're too kind. To receive an autograph from the great Ongo Natsume himself. This honor is truly more than I deserve. Nonsense. Don't sell yourself short. It's readers like you who allow authors like me to keep writing. I see. That's a wonderful way to look at it. Oh, right. Do you by any chance use Emma, Natsume-san? Of course. With how convenient it is, how could I not? If you don't mind, could you please add me to your friends list? It would be a privilege to be closer to one I respect so greatly. <laughs> not at all. My fans and readers mean the world to me. The keyword is Prince of Nightmares. Thank you very much. Expect a request from me sometime soon. Now, there is one more thing. I overheard you and your entourage mention the Sayuri earlier. If I'm not mistaken, you said it should be thrown out with the trash. As though it were some cheap attempt. Ah, so you heard that, did you? Is that what I said? Well, I take it someone of your taste agrees with me. In the end, that painting only held value because of whose name was attached to it. Madarame had it. The Sayori was painted by my mother. <laughs> this may be unprofessional of me, but professionalism be damned. My mother painted the Sayori at the cost of her own life. It is her final masterpiece. That painting is crafted with a love that simply cannot be found anywhere else. Don't you dare lump it in with that soulless drivel you've cobbled together from authors far more talented than you. <laughs> hey, you can't... I merely spoke the truth. Now, you'll excuse me. We've got what we came for. Let's head outside, yes? Just like the rest. My apologies. I couldn't hold myself back. I suppose I still have much to learn. Dude, don't sweat it. I mean, it worked out. You got the keyword, so we're all good. Yeah, you did great. I was actually pretty impressed with how you stood up to him. Well, I can't say my assessment of his book was entirely correct. Whatever someone feels from a work of art, no matter what that work may be, ultimately comes down to the individual. Yeah, well, for what it's worth, we all love seeing you stick it to that creep, Inari. In any case, we've got the keyword now. All that's left is to find our entry point. Sendai Station would be a good place to look. Hmm? How come? The smell isn't as strong there. Security's probably more lax. The station should be a safe point of entry, just like in Shibuya. So I guess we're doing it then. Yeah, we've got everything we need. Tomorrow, that jail's getting a visit from the Phantom Thieves. Oh yeah. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask you. 
Yusuke might have been acting calm just now. But he seemed rather sad. Why was that? Oh, I see. So when someone disrespects something important to you, it makes you more sad than angry. At the very least, Yusuke seemed to feel that way. I think I'm starting to understand him a little better now. Thank you for explaining that to me. I've been waiting for you. The desires in this place have been stolen as well. The voices of countless hearts are stirring about. At the same time, I can feel the threat of the calamity is only growing stronger. I have called you here to deliver important news. The bonds you have forged will now impart an even greater power to your personas. This new power, it seems it was born from a connection you've made during your travels. This will become the sustenance that will further nurture your potential. Cherish it dearly. <laughs> I admit I'm somewhat jealous. There is no doubt that they will give you the strength needed to cut through fate. new set of bond skills have been unlocked these allow you to strengthen the skills of your personas be sure to take advantage of this new power in future battles may luck be on your side i'm pretty sure the third is when side quests open up but i don't remember for sure <laughs> so tired snap out of it ryuji we're about to head in I know, I know. I was so excited last night, I couldn't sleep. What, you think it's Christmas morning or something? Any idea how big this place is? Can you tell, Sophia? Based on the smell, I'd say it covers nearly all of Sendai. That's quite big. Considering what's happening throughout the city, the scale makes sense. But that's all coming to an end. Right. We're heading into the Sendai Jail. Hey, 